From its opening in 1976 to the present day, the O'Connor Campus Center, or COOP as it's affectionately known, has been an iconic part of the Colgate campus and holds a special place within the lives of the Colgate student community, especially when it comes to food. Over a thousand students a day dine at the COOP Cafe through breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Each of their meals are served on plates or on takeout containers, both made from processed sugarcane fibers. Their drinks are poured in post-consumer paper cups. Even the cutlery is made from cornstarch. In fact, everything the modern Colgator dines on from the coop is compostable. But at the end of their meals, all of these items are put into bins to be taken to a landfill. And that is a lot of trash. But our trash doesn't simply vanish into the green dumpsters behind the coop. It is collected twice a day and compacted by diesel garbage trucks before being hauled over 20 miles to this place, the Madison County Landfill. Unfortunately, compostables which require mechanical agitation and oxygen do not do so well turning into compost in the static anaerobic environment of a landfill. And considering Colgate's environmental and sustainability goals of carbon neutrality by 2019, the landfilling of compostables is slightly counterintuitive in terms of ethos. And it costs money to put things into a landfill, $67 per ton. So then the question is, well just how much waste are we producing at the Coop Eatery? To find the answer, we set up scales to measure the amount of trash produced over the course of a typical school week in April 2014. And to see how much of the trash was actually trash versus recyclables or compostables, we also searched through multiple bags of trash, sorting the refuse out on a table in spacesuits. We then took lots of pictures of the compostables, recyclables, and trash before weighing them separately. So what did we find? Astonishingly, on average, 78% of eatery waste was compostable, less than 10% being actual trash. And so, after doing some calculations and extrapolations, we came to this conclusion. The coop produces 29,660 pounds of trash, associated with 350 pounds of greenhouse gases in a typical school year. This would be roughly equivalent to filling Taylor Lake with a layer of trash seven feet high. If we recycled and composted our waste or used reusable flatware, we would avoid producing 27,300 pounds of trash, prevent the emission of 240 pounds of greenhouse gases, and save nearly $1,000. This then is a lot. So what can we do about our situation at present? According to the campus master plan, the coop is to receive a $21.7 million renovation. Thus, now is the perfect time to make some recommendations. First, we could expand composting and recycling opportunities at the coop, such as implementing a tri-bin system. However, we would also need to look at expanding composting opportunities on campus, as the size of our compost pile at present does not allow for the breakdown of coop products. We could also try changing the way we dine at the coop by moving to a more plate-based system for eating in. But in the end, the ultimate choice is up to us. What will you do to help reduce waste at the coop?